Alright, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to a new Black Desert mobile video. And finally today, the Gladiator Passive Buff is live on the global version. And this is why uh, we'll be making a short PvP slash combo guide for this new Gladiator 2.0. Right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So one of the biggest change right, is obviously your shield charge. So if you look at the bottom right corner here, right, okay, we have shield charge here and you can see that the circle surrounding the skill icon is now in white color. And that is because you no longer use mana okay, for shield charge. And of course, instead of doing a stun, now it does a daze. Right, stun on first hit and days on last hit. Okay, so that is in itself a very big, big change. All right. So because of that change, there are certain new combos or possible combos that we can do. Okay, but let's start with the first uh, bread and butter combo of the Gladiator, and that is using spinning slash with ground smash right so for example okay you can start things off with your shield charge doing a stun and daze swing slash ground smash again and then grab okay do the double grab and once the double grab is done you can do maybe uh, either a ground smash okay or a spinning slash and a scars of dust okay so for this beginner combo I would recommend you to use or rather to turn off the flow for scars of dust all right you can see there's just one slash okay but if you turn it on uh, let me just turn it on here you can see that's very slow yeah and for PvP I would recommend you to turn it off right because the, the only good reason Right, for it to be turned on is for PvE farming and to get the day's effect uh, which you will get at the first slash okay, but now that shield charge does days you no longer need the flow for scars of dust yeah so turn it off man turn it off All right so let's take a look at how this first beginner combo would work with the new shield charge changes in the arena okay so once again i will put the step by step combo as an image after this and just before we jump right into the arena let's go all right we have an archmage here Okay, so one of the important change that I did not mention yet is okay, we now have a new passive called Strong Principle. It's, it's a rather weird name, but uh, I'm sure you get the idea. So it gives you 20% mi uh, minus 20% PvP damage received. So essentially, you take 20% less damage from other players. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to. The reason why I'm not attacking is because I'm trying to explain the passive first. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so to get to activate that passive, uh, either f you can get it from either from block blocking, uh, or using your shield charge, or oh wait, oh fuck, 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 <laughs> or using your level seventy skill, which is now All right. Okay, so regarding the combo. Okay, so we'll start off with shield charge. Okay, so he went into his iframe, it's fine. Okay, by the way, Ashmage also uh, received his. Yeah, you saw that? The usual combo, okay? So, spinning slash and... Oh, he rage quit, wow. All right, so that's the first combo you can try out with the new gladiator 2.0 okay let's move on to the next combo all right okay we're back to the field 
Okay, so for this next combo, alright, for this next combo, okay, some of you experienced Gladiator players might already know this, but this is, okay, this might be good for new Gladiator players. So for example, if you're using Shield Charge, right, you might notice that the range is kind of small, right? So it might not be suitable to use it in engaging a, a target from a distance away. So what happens if you want to start a combo or initiate an attack from a long distance away? Okay, in that case, we'll use your spear, all right? Uh, which has quite a good distance, all right? So if you see that your spear has knocked someone down, okay? After throwing a spear, okay, let me just, okay, you can tap on it again to follow up, okay, with a short dash and heavy strike, right, using the same skill, just tap and hold on to it, uh, provided then, okay, this is only provided that your opponent is within a certain, I wouldn't say long distance, but mid distance. Okay, because sometimes the maximum distance your spear can go right, is shorter than this running distance. All right? So instead of using this and then tap and hold on to this, okay, you, sometimes if you are hitting a target from the spear's maximum distance away, use your piercing spear and then use your charging thrust and then end with a scars of dust. Okay, once you have done that, use grab. Okay, double grab, and then follow with ground smash and spinning slash, right? So that will be the second combo. Okay, that uh, especially new gladiator players can try out. So to see how that does in the arena. Okay, we'll jump right into the arena. Let's go. All right, we have a Titan here. Let's try to use the spear to start a combo, all right? Okay, and then a grab. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we have really deal almost half damage, half HP, it's fine. Okay, notice he, he wasted his back rows. Alright, GG well played. Okay, so you might have noticed that it was a bit messy towards the end. Okay, so this is also to show you that you shouldn't stick to each and every combo uh, rigidly, right? Sometimes you have to adapt to different situations, all right? Okay, but without further ado, let's jump to one of the new combos uh, that we can possibly do because of the changes. Let's go. All right, and now you can see that we're back in the field. Okay, and you might have noticed that our skill wheel set up is somewhat different for this third and next combo. Okay, so because now shield charge does this, okay, we can actually put charging trust in front of it. Okay, before we do shield charge. Okay, so the combo would look something like this: charging trust. And then shield charge, spin slash, and then scars of dust, and two ground smashes, and a grab, double grab. So by the time you finish your double grabbing, okay, you should have your spinning slash, or scars of dust, or ground smash charge uh, return. Right? So you should be able to do something like this. 
and this or even this and this after your double grab okay so let's jump right into the arena and check out how this plays out and of course once again I'll put the step-by-step -step combo list uh, right after this and right before we jump into the arena let's go All right, looks like we have a Sura here. Uh, let's see how this plays out, all right? All right, you saw that? Okay, you saw the combo flow? And that is GG well played, okay? All right. So without further ado, let's jump right into the next combo which will be a little bit more tricky and risky as well. Yeah, risky, yeah. Let's go. All right, we're back in the field. Okay, so before we start on this next possible new combo and which is somewhat risky as well, okay, just something important Okay, that you have to remember is that now you can recharge or refresh your shield block which is this or rather the number of blocks you can or rather the number of skill hits you can block okay so to do so just use any two skills or use any one skill two times all right so for example you have block uh, maybe some arrows from hunters okay and now you have back away to refresh the number of blocks you can do something like this and now you have refresh your blocks okay or the number of hits you can block all right so that is depending on where you are in the arena that's three and on the few or remnants that is eight yeah okay so let's move on to the next combo which is somewhat risky okay so this next combo uh, some of you might already know what it is if you have watched the previous video okay on the double goodness yeah okay so this next combo requires you to know about the shield animation cancelling okay so if you have noticed okay right now we are in blocking mode Okay, because this block button is on right now it's off okay so this button can be used to turn on your blocking mode manually okay but it can also be used to cancel your skills for example okay spinning slash by itself looks like this all right okay but if you use spinning slash and then you use the block button in the middle of it this is what would happen okay notice that I cancelled the animation all right yeah so this next skill requires you to do something along the lines of this okay you saw that two double slashes or rather the two double the double spinning slashes yeah the two spinning slashes god damn it yes okay before the scars of dust yeah so you really have to be smooth at it because this skill spinning slash does a knock back so you have to do the two spinning slashes uh, before your opponent recovers from the knock back and then land your scars of dust yeah before they do so right and then after which you can do two ground smashes and then follow out with your double grab and then after which your spinning slash and your scars of dust should have recovered by then all right so to check out how this combo does let's jump right into the arena let's go
Nice. We have a, another gladiator, man. Respect, respect, man. Okay. So, it's always, it's always good to see more gladiators, right? Okay, so let's see how this risky combo plays against this uh, gladiator, yeah? Okay, we might have to play differently. Nice grab. Okay, you saw the double, double spinning slash. Okay, so that's how you do the spinning slash and then shield animation cancel and then another spinning slash and then scars of dust. All right. So hopefully this PvP guides on the new Gladiator 2.0 with his new passive has been helpful and entertaining as well. And if you do enjoy it, do give it a like, share with your friends and subscribe if you have not already done so. We are very very close to 2k subscribers and as always stay awesome and stay safe and do remember to check out our new and upcoming black desert mobile videos cheers man